just got set up in a spot where I haven't hunted yet this year, if you recall um, from one of our prior videos. Um, we had a recovery video of a, of a nice buck that I had shot out of this stand. Didn't get the, the shot or the you know the kill on footage, but um, we did get the recovery. Um, first time I hunted this spot this year. Came in in the early season. Wasn't a whole lot of sign. Um, I have apple trees around me. I can see at least four apple trees with a decent amount of apples on them. When I walked into the stand, there was actually a doe underneath uh, feeding on apples. Let me show you the apples real quick here. Um, the deer that I would be expecting to come from off the hillside here or down the hollow to from our south. I don't have super high expectations for a night at 68 degrees out um, on October 15th and but you never know you're going to be in a tree. I'm going back and forth debating about whether or not to shoot a doe tonight. Sounds like something might be up there. Anyhow, I may shoot a doe tonight, may not. It's really warm. I'd have to take care of it right away. We'll see if it, if it, if it comes in, if the doe comes in and gives me a great shot. Maybe I'll do that. Benny P shot a doe last night. I haven't seen the video yet, but I'm excited. And as usual, I'm sure it's a great video. Here comes deer. You know, I have to tell you, I dealt with this stuff last year. This is frustrating. I can't tell you how frustrating that is. Nothing can drop your expectations on a hunt like a dog can. That dog right there. I didn't get to show you the deer. Um, I heard the deer coming to chase the deer right up past me 20 yards. I dealt with this last year with this dog on a couple different occasions. Well, anyhow, stay tuned with us. Um, I hope to bring you some footage. But like I said, my expectations just dropped royally.
a nice mature doe. The, I mean, she just came in and gave me a perfect shot. She was giving me a perfect shot at, I don't know, 12 yards. Um, my entrance went in a little bit high, but I'm at such a good angle that, uh, that I clearly double, you know, double lunged her. That was fun. That's two doe down. Well, one for me, one for Benny P yesterday, so that's a good start to the season. And I forgive the dog. Although I would have liked to, you know, have had the opportunity to the big buck, but all right, now one of my doe tags is filled. I'm gonna get down here quickly because I'm gonna lose uh, light real quick here, so I'm gonna try to get her gutted out as quick as possible and get her out of here. So, all right, guys, so I'm gonna walk over, get my arrow, and we're gonna look at it. This is the first time shooting a Ramcat broadhead. So I'm very, well, obviously it uh, did its job, but I'm excited to take a look at the arrow. Well, there's the arrow completely covered in blood, buried in the ground. Man, there's a lot of blood on that arrow. Whew. All right, let's go over and see her. A nice big doe. Yeah, a lot of blood up here. Blood was just pouring out. Huh. Alright guys, I got some work to do, so thanks for watching. So happy to just bring good footage to YouTube and to the hunting community, so thanks a lot.